Have you made the decision to add a new dog to your home, but you're not quite sure what the right breed for you is? Well, in this video, we'll take a look at two medium to large breeds that could make the perfect canine companion, the Bauble and the Malinois. Welcome back to the Fenrir Bauble Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to make sure you never miss another upload. So let's dive into today's video where we'll be comparing these two beautiful breeds. Let's begin today by touching upon the history of the Bauble. Coming from the Mastiff and Molossa family, the Bauble originated in South Africa where they were used to hunt game like leopards, lions, hyenas and baboons. The word Bauble derives from Afrikaans and Dutch words. The word boar meaning farmer and bull being a slang word for dog. They were bred when Dutch settlers arrived in South Africa in the 17th century and bred native South African dogs with European dogs like the Bulldog, Rhodesian Ridgeback and the Bull Mastiff which created the Boar Dog which was later renamed the Bauble. The Bauble became known as the Farmer's Dog. They were used as family guardians to protect their owners and their homes and during the 1980s lovers of the breed decided to make it their mission to keep the breed as pure as possible. Even today the Bauble is a rare breed. The Bauble was recognised by the American Kennel Club in the working group in 2015. The Belgian Malinois, as the name suggests, originates in Belgium. They're one of the four varieties of Belgian sheepdogs that was developed in the late 19th century. The modern day Malinois can be traced back to this time and more more specifically to a breeding pair owned by a Belgian shepherd named Adrian Janssens. In 1885 he purchased a rough-haired fawn dog called Voz that he used to herd flock but also bred with a short-haired brindle brown dog named Lys. After this initial mating Voz was bred with his daughters to further establish the line of grey rough-haired and short-haired Malinois and fawn rough-haired and short-haired Malinois. Today Voz and Lys are recognised as the ancestors of all modern Belgian shepherd dogs as well as the Bouvier and Dutch Shepherd. Breeders decided to give each variety of Belgian Shepherd their own names. A breeder named Louis Hugie Barrett had done a lot to popularise the fawn short-haired Malinois in the city of Malane. The Malinois name was adopted from the city to refer to the fawn short-haired Belgian Shepherd. Hugie Barrett recognised that there was a lack of sheep in Belgium towards the end of the 1800s and turned to showcasing the Malinois' intelligence, obedience and loyalty. Because of this they were used in the early 20th century as guard dogs and draft dogs and they were also the first breed to be used by the Belgian police. During the First World War they had many roles in the military including messenger dogs, red cross dogs, ambulance cart dogs and even light machine gun cart dogs. After the First World War many American servicemen brought back Malinois and other Belgian Shepherd dogs. The first Belgian Shepherd Club of America was formed in 1924 and they were officially recognised by the American Kennel Club shortly after. The Bauble is a large, strong and well-muscled dog breed. Male Baubles usually stand between 24 to 28 inches at the withers, which is around 60 to 71 centimetres. Females stand between 20 to 25 inches at the withers, which is around 56 to 63 centimetres. Both males and females weigh between 110 to 200 pounds, which is 50 to 90 kilograms. They typically have an imposing look with a broad square shaped head with ears that fall down close to their heads. They have a muscular back with strong long legs, a broad chest with a tummy that tucks upwards and they can come in a range of colours including brindle, tawny, red, reddish brown, cream and brown. Baubles can also have different markings on them including a black mask and white or piebald markings. They have a short dense coat that lies close to their skin which requires minimal grooming. In fact all it takes to keep their coats clean and smart is a weekly brush with a soft bristle brush. The Belgian Malinois is a medium sized Belgian Shepherd that's often confused with the German Shepherd. They're a short haired fawn coloured dog with a black mask. Males will grow to a height of 26 inches or 66 centimetres at the withers and weigh up to 75 pounds or 34 kilograms. Females are a little bit smaller with a maximum height of 24 inches or 61 centimetres and weigh up to 60 pounds or 27 kilograms. Their coats are short and straight and their fur is particularly short around the head, ears and lower legs. They do have slightly longer hair around the neck forming a collar but not so long that it stands out. They are a double coated breed that generally sheds twice a year. They'll need brushing at least twice a week to keep their coat healthy and to encourage new growth. Baubles are most happiest when they're around family. The breed is very intelligent and can recognise the differences between friends and foe. They're natural guardians and will be cautious when you have any visitors around so it's a good idea that you introduce your bauble to anyone that's entering the 
house so they don't feel threatened. They're a sensitive breed. The bulbul was originally bred to be loyal to their family and to guard them. This means that they can be territorial if they feel that they or their family is threatened and they will defend with aggression if it's needed. If provoked, they will not back down from confrontation. This is why this breed is not a good choice for novice owners. They require an experienced canine leader who knows how to control a breed of this nature. Despite this, the bauble is very loving and playful with their family and they're very eager to please. They excel best when they're given a job to do, for example being a guard dog or farm dog or competing in dog sports like agility. It's essential that you properly and thoroughly socialise your bauble to as many different people, sights, sounds, smells and animals as you can in the first 16 weeks of their lives. This helps ensure they become well-rounded canines. They should also be taught obedience and manners to ensure they look to you for direction and guidance, as they are a big powerful dog that will quickly become aggressive if in the wrong hands. Positive reinforcement, firm boundaries and plenty of praise and treats is the best training method for this breed. It's also important that they get plenty of physical and mental exercise. Bulbuls need around an hour of exercise a day. They can get bored very easily, so it's a good idea to have plenty of mentally stimulating toys to prevent unwanted behaviours like barking, chewing and distress behaviour. The Malinois is an intelligent and active breed that truly thrives in many tasks. They have a great deal of stamina and enjoy working which makes them a great breed for police work, search and rescue and performance events like agility. They are also a sensitive breed and don't respond well to harsher training methods. Due to this combination of high energy and sensitivity they're not recommended for first time owners but instead for those experienced with dog training. They love everyone to be included in family activities so they're not best suited to homes where their families are out every day at school or at work. They're quick learners and are eager to please, and as we've already touched upon, they thrive at dog sports, but they also love to play. They've been described as having a high play drive, as almost everything you ask them to do is like play to them. You should address this desire to play through exercise. They're a very high energy breed, so you should try and aim for at least 90 minutes of exercise each day, which is best split into three 30 minute sessions. It's not just physical exercise they need, but also mental stimulation, so try and incorporate this as part of a variety of games and exercises, like runs, walks, hikes, fetch, games of hide and seek, puzzle games and snuffle mats. Without mental and physical stimulation, Malinois can become destructive and show behaviours like barking, chewing, anxious pacing, going to the toilet in the house and general destructive behaviour. So be sure you can dedicate plenty of time to exercising when choosing a Malinois because a tired dog is a happy dog. Baubles usually have no issues with other dogs or animals that they've grown up with or if they live within the same house as them. However, they can be standoffish or territorial with animals they don't know. They can also have issues with dog of the same sex as them. This is why early socialising is essential with this breed as they can become a polite and friendly canine. However, they create strong bonds with all the family. They adore their families and especially children. The biggest threat to a child is the sheer size of them. They can easily knock over little ones and potentially injure them during boisterous play sessions. Despite their natural love of children, it's still important that you teach any children how to treat your bauble. It's important that you supervise any interactions with children and your dog, as children, especially young children, will poke, pull out and even try to sit on dogs. And this can make your dog anxious and nervous. You should always be aware when your children bring over their friends, as they may mistake playing with other children as them attacking their family. That being said, they make amazing protectors of children. Well socialised Malinois make good family companions, they're great with children especially if they've been raised around them. It's important to remember that they have a strong herding heritage, this can sometimes lead to them to nip at children's feet and heels during playtime. An adult Malinois who's not familiar with children would be better suited to a home with older children who are mature enough to know how to properly interact with dogs. This is worth thinking about if you're thinking of adopting or rescuing an older dog. You should always teach young children how to approach and touch a Malinois and supervise any interactions between them to prevent bad behaviour from either side. Malinois can become dominant towards other dogs and cats unless they've been raised alongside them. If you want them to get along well with other dogs and animals, it's important to start socialisation early and ensure you use positive reinforcement and reward appropriate behaviour. The breed does have a naturally high prey drive and natural hunting instincts which can make them challenging with other small domestic pets. This isn't to be said that they can't get on well with them if they've been socialised and raised alongside them. However, they should never be left unsupervised as accidents can happen. The 
Corbel and the Malinois are two great choices of family dog. Both get along well with children, but the Malinois is better suited to older children. They're two beautiful breeds who, if well trained and socialised, could become your perfect canine companion. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated Bulbul -Bul videos coming here every single week. So, I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Bulbul -Bul Show.